Good morning once again. So in this session, we are going to discuss a very important problem in connection with the resistance welding. Two steel sheets. I can read the question first. Two steel sheets. I need to. Uh, two steel sheets of two mm thickness are resistance welded in a lab joint with a current of 10,000 ampere for 0.15 second. The effective resistance of the joint can be taken as 150 micron ohm. The joint can be considered as a cylinder of 5 mm diameter and 2 mm height. The heat required for melting steel can be taken as 10 joule per millimeter cube. Determine the amount of heat generated and the lost during the welding. So this is actually a problem taken from uh, your textbook. And here the problem is I want to weld a um, cylinder. So the shape is cylindrical type and dimension of cylinder is also given, not the dimension. Yeah, if, of course, the diameter of the cylinder as well as the height of the cylinder is uh, given. And what type of welding uh, is uh, doing? Lab joint. Sorry, no, not what type of welding. It's, it's clear. It's resistance welding. And what type of joint is made? Lab joint. It's again given. Now, let me uh, we need to calculate the amount of heat generated and how much amount of heat uh, rejected or lost to the surroundings this is the uh, two things we we'll calculate and hope you are remembering while we start discussing about the resistance welding we come up with a formula h is equal to i square rt isn't it that's the heat supplied is equal to h is equal to i square rt where i is a current r is a resistance and t is a time so the time of current flow is given it's 0.15 second which is uh, given in the question you can see current of 10,000 amperes for 1.0.15 seconds that's the time and what's about the current 10,000 amperes and then what is R resistance micron 150 microns maybe you can take convert it into, into ohms value by uh, uh, converting that is 0.15 you will get this is how this 150 micro ohm turned to 0.15 ohms. Okay, from this equation you can calculate the heat supplied I square RT. I square is 10,000 square into 150 into. Uh, again, you need to convert it into uh, 10 raised to minus. Sorry, I am extremely sorry. I I made a mistake. This 150 into ohms, 150 into 10 raised to minus 6. This 0.15 is nothing but the time uh, time. 0.15 is a time and this 150 micro ohm is converted into ohm by 150 into 10 raise to minus 6. Okay. So you will get it is equal to i square rt and you will get the heat supplied is 2 to 5 0 joules. Now I want to find out the heat, how much heat is required for melting. So though this uh, supply heat is 2 to 5 0, I need to know how much heat is required and how much heat is lost to surroundings. This is what they asked you to find out. And heat required. In order to find out the heat required, first I need to know the volume of the joint. So here I can find out the volume of the joint. What, what structure I am going to make? I am going to weld. What structure? That's a cylindrical. Isn't it? So the joint, see, the joint itself, the joint can be considered as a cylinder. You, you please note on that point, very important. The joint can be considered as a cylinder, which means what how what would be the volume of the joint then? Pi, pi r square h or pi d square by 4. So this is being calculated in the next step pi into 5 square into 2 d is 5 hmm, into 2 by 4. So you will get the volume in millimeter cube. 39.25 millimeter cube. 5 is in mm, 2 is in mm. And how much heat required for melting? So here it is given that the heat required for melting steel is given in uh, per, per millimeter cube. The heat required for melting steel. So if you multiply the volume obtained in the last step, I mean the volume of the joint with this, you will get exactly the heat required for melting in joules. So 39.25 into 10, you will get 392.5 joules. Now I know heat supplied, I know heat required, and subtracting these two, I will get heat lost. 
2250 minus 10 and d to 0.5, you will get 1857.5 joules. Thank you.